What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai J, and we are locked in. We have a new show on CBS called Papa's House. Now, it's starring the Wayans. And this show is about a legendary talk show host who is happily divorced. Papa. Papa has his point of view. He's challenged at work when a new female co-host is hired. And at home, where he finds himself still parenting his adult son. A brilliant dreamer who is trying to pursue his passion while being responsible as a father and a husband. Now, we haven't done sitcoms on here in years and also 30-minute TV shows, but we're going to try things out and see where we can go with this series. But before we jump into this, if we break down this first episode, the pilot episode, if you like content where we're breaking down shows and just going over the punchlines of jokes, then hit your subscribe button and turn your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And let's go ahead and jump into it. This is the first episode of Papa's House, the pilot. In the episode, we got to get introduced to the cast. Obviously, we have Damon Sr., who is playing Pops, or should I say Papa, and then we have Damon Jr. playing Damon. Now, he's coming over and he's asking his father, who is a radio talk show host, to borrow some money. Well, at this moment, not to borrow some money. That's another part of his life story, but to pick up his kids. So when he comes in here, we find out that Damon Jr. is actually working on all kinds of different products. Now, his father is just like any father. We're trying to help you out. But Damon Jr., we don't know how old you are. Get a job, a real job. So right now, they're just going over a list of reasons why he's not going to help Damon Jr. out. Because he paid for his schooling, video school, and now he's selling back rollers. <laughs> we all need a good back rub, though. Back at Damon Jr.'s house, because he had a loan to get this beautiful house and he needs to pay it back, his wife, we get introduced to, her name is Nina, and she's talking to him. Hey, why don't you take that promotion at the job that my dad is offering you so you can make some more money so we can put our kids in private school? Now, there's nothing wrong with public school. 99% of us went to public school, and look how we turned out. I know you guys clown me from here and there, but she wants the kids to go to a private school. Now, he's like, I want to continue to do what I do, direct short films and take video oh did i say that kiss my short wife now she's talking about don't call me short because if you keep calling me short you're only gonna get a little bit of this we at the radio station and listening to the old school jams that papa got on here and i'm talking about it's a relaxing day callers are calling in asking why is he paying all this civil rights music play some of the new rap music we hurry up and get them off the line because all these new rappers, they sound like little baby, the baby. What do you say? Newborn baby, infant baby. This little baby got the whole world in his hands. We don't even know none of these rappers. But then we get a call from a woman. Now, she has a PhD, and she's talking to Papa and saying, why does every conversation you have lead back to sex? And he says, it ain't me. It's my dang lane. And I found that kind of funny and gave a smirk. Because I'm like, well, you know, he is right. Sometimes you just ain't got control. You got to let go. But in comes one of his assistants, and he's saying that the CEOs, the upper management, they want to change the culture because this show is no longer number one. We're number two. And, well, they bring in Ivy with the Ph.D. to change the culture. Junior goes home to let his father know about his day, and Papa lets him know about his day. Papa has a woman on his job that's about to come into the radio station and help out, quote, unquote. And Junior, well, he got fired because he missed an important sales pitch. Well, guess what? His wife Nina shows up and she finds out that he's fired before he could even tell her. And of course, she's going off talking about my dad gave you a job and you declined it. He talking about only missed a couple of appointments that he knows about. Y'all know how that is. You don't you don't really want to take that job. You don't want to work for your wife's father. Like, come on, man. He's going to be watching you all the time. Sometimes you want to be a slouch. Sometimes you want to cut a, a, a corners. But she's like, no, 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 I want what's best for the kids. So your 35-year-old ass needs to cut those dreams out. Man, that's a dagger to the heart. <laughs> After Nina leaves from telling Damon Jr., 35-year-old ass with no job, to go get a damn job, Papa comes in and he talks to him and basically tells him, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. At one point, he thought he was about to be the next DJ up and actually quit his job. But the head DJ came back and, well, that position that he had as the head DJ was only temporarily. And that's why he started working as a garbage man. But as a man of your household, you got to do what you got to do. And this is making Junior realize 
wait a minute, is that why my dad's fingers used to smell like trash when I was a kid? <laughs> Those memories start to flash back when you get the whole story. But the light bulb in Junior's head goes off and he realizes he needs to get his job back and take care of his family. When Papa gets to work the next day, guess what? Ivy is sitting in here and his assistant got her a chair, a microphone, and they also brought a camera because they're trying to turn this thing around. They're trying to get a new market on YouTube. They're trying to reach out to the masses. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, make sure you hit that like button also. I'm old IJ and this is Papa's house. But back in Papa's office, he sees all of this and he's irate. He doesn't want anything to do with anybody. He's looking at the monitor. They're saying that his head is the size of a baby pigeon. He's upset. He doesn't want to do this. This is my studio, damn it. And he walks out, even though he's on contract. Papa wants to do it his way. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he left, well, that contract is void. But they're going to bring him back in because them lawyers are on you. Well, Nina's father shows up because they got to try to get this right with Damon Jr. They got to smooth this over. Now, him and Papa, they've been having a clash since back in 78. Now, when he shows up, he's talking about what's up. Oh, my portfolio is I mean He's getting those big dollars. He's also offering Junior a job, but Junior hasn't took it. And he hands Damon, a.k.a. Papa, his cashmere jacket and says, don't let it touch none of that cheap stuff. When he drops the jacket, now we get a backstory. He said he whooped Papa back in 78. Story has it. He had Papa in a headlock, but then Papa said in 82 would happen. But they saying that Papa allegedly had a growth spurt, so it wasn't really that fair of a fight when they were the same size. He had Papa a little worked up. I don't know, man. Don't hey, don't quote me on this, but I'm hearing that Papa, he had them hands in the 80s. The family sits down and they have the discussion that they need. So Junior, what's on your mind? He's talking about, let me get some red wine. Nina said, nah, nah, we're not playing that game. Well, Mr. Jackson starts to speak and he's very adamant that, listen, Junior, I don't like you. And everything that I'm saying, my daughter is making me say. Now, I built my business from the ground up and it's an empire now. So Junior realizes, all right, you're right. I respect what you do. And if you would give me my job back, I would appreciate that. And foam is where the heart is. Mr. Jackson is like, I like that. Because I'm putting you on the management course 12 hours a day, shoulder to shoulder, nonstop work. And I like that name for my next catalog. But they shake hands. And of course, they got to get their jabs in. Mr. Jackson tells Papa, growing up, you should try it. And they getting ready to scrap again. So we got 78. We got 82. We's about to have a 2020-24. Yeah, I said it 2020-2024 brawl. Once Damon and Nina arrive back to the house, it's some lovey-dovey time. That lovey-dovey kiss-kiss. Well, they sit down on the floor and they get face-to-face. -face and they both express how they're feeling. Junior, he apologizes about what he did and missing the job interviews and missing all of the meetings. And she apologizes for being too hard on him and kind of knocking his dreams. But you know, here on my channel, we always say conversation rules the nation. And all you have to do is talk it out. And once you get to a common ground, you can get to Mr. Nasty time. But as Damon would say, maybe only two minutes of it. But hey, two minutes is better than no minutes. Now, Papa got that pep talk from Junior. Whose house? Papa's house. Well, let me tell you, Papa got a brand new band. He came up in here in a suit with the beard that isn't dyed because he woke up like that. And he jumped straight on the airwaves and let New York know what's crack a lacking. It is a little crowded up in here. We got the Dr. Ivy in here. But let's get back down to business. Let's get to the hits. Let's get to the music. Let's get to the feeling of feeling great. Now, Dr. Ivy isn't going to just stand there and let this go any old kind of way. She actually fights back and has a couple of jokes talking about she was begged to come and save Papa's house. So let's cut the music right now. But then she tells him that he was her idol while she was in college. But when he was married, he was positive. He was helping her through all kinds of things. Certain people have that effect on you guys. My name is Moda J. That's why you listen to me. But she was saying that Papa was getting her through some things, but now she didn't changed up. But what she wants to do is come and help the show out and not let it slip and fall off the cliff. Well, at the end, conversation rules the nation. And now we're on a common ground. But a caller calls in and just like us, 
We not trying to hear y'all go back and forth. Play some damn music. But then he puts on a song. What you want? Baby, I got it. But Dr. Ivy was trying to pick a song. He's like, whoa, whoa, we ain't that cool yet. We not on that level where you get to pick the songs on Papa's house. All right, there you go. Episode one. I say that it's a must watch because I'm not going over all of the punchlines, but there are a couple of them in here. And it's actually a funny show. What would I give it out of a 10? I'd probably say like a six, six and a half. It's going to have to grow on me a little bit. Just for the simple fact, we're getting introduced to the characters and we didn't know what their backstory was and how it built up. So now at least going into episode two, we should see Junior with a job. We see Dr. Ivy and Papa together working. So we understand the dynamics between everybody at this point. So hopefully we continue up with this show and it continues to get better. But this is Papa's House, episode one. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm Moda J. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.